Hello and welcome to this brief student introduction to using Blackboard Collaborate Ultra or as you probably know it, the Minerva Virtual Classroom. This video will guide you through what you can expect from a session hosted on Blackboard and we will give you the confidence to use the tools available to you. You can access each module's virtual classroom through the module page on Minerva by selecting Virtual Classroom. This will bring you to a screen that looks like this. From here, you can see all upcoming sessions and have a look back at previous ones. You can also have a look at recordings. And here you can see any sessions that have been recorded in the past. To access a session that's ongoing, you simply click here on the session and then join session. When you arrive in a Collaborate session, your screen will look like this. You'll notice that your microphone and your video aren't automatically on, meaning that you can set these up when you want to. To set up your microphone, you simply click on this icon here. And the first time you set it up, it will bring up a menu that looks like this. We can see that it can hear me and I can choose which microphone I want to use there. And I simply click, yes, it's working. If I want to share my video or check that it's working, I can check the video icon and then I'll get a preview and I can just click share video if I want. For most sessions, it will be acceptable to have your video on if you wish but microphones should be kept muted apart from when you are contributing to the session. Next to the audio and video buttons, there's one for raising your hand. This allows you to send a notification to your tutor that you want to contribute to the session. They can ask you then to come onto the microphone or can refer you to the chat, which is over here on the right hand side. In the chat panel, you can send a message to everyone or to one person in particular. It's worth remembering when using the chat feature, especially when messaging a tutor, that they're teaching and it might be hard for them to respond during the lesson. The final menu item down at the bottom is your status and settings. Some tutors may use this menu for quickly gauging, understanding or getting a consensus. If they are, you can use this to show that you are away or that you might need a little bit extra help. But it's wise to only make use of this if you know that the tutor will be keeping an eye on any responses from it. These features at the bottom are ones you're going to be able to interact with in most sessions, although some tutors may disable some depending on the style of teaching and the type of session you're attending. They may also use other features such as breakout groups. These breakout groups put you into a mini version of the main session, but with a smaller group of participants. You'll be able to talk and work together just as you would in the main session, but with more privacy as only your tutor will be able to move freely between them. Even if your main session is being recorded, the break sessions video and the chats won't be recorded. The tutor will be able to control when you come back together and it's worth noting that they may not give you a warning. However, the breakout group chat will remain and be accessible for the rest of the session. Your tutor may use PowerPoint just as they would in a physical lesson, which will look like this. They can also make use of polls, shared files, whiteboards and sharing their screen. So you can expect just as engaging and varied as lesson as you would have in a physical classroom. Just like in a normal classroom, it's important to know where the door is. In your virtual classroom, you can access here at the bottom or over here on the menu on the left hand side.